thank y'all for tuning in once again. It's Odom's Homestead down here in Growing Zone, 7B, Tennessee. Uh, thank y'all for tuning in. Today is going to be a mail call, mail call. I got some mail from uh, Miss Sue Miller, a subscriber. She's been following my channel for a while now. And she's been telling me she's going to get me some quint seeds once she figure out if she can get them to germinate herself. And she actually got it done. And she sent me some. And she also sent me, let me show you. So this is from Mrs. Sue Miller. She sent me this seedling. This is a quint seedling. She sent me this. Nice, nice, nice. She also sent me. If I can get this package open. She sent me some uh, elderberry cuttings. I got some elderberries back there, actually some plants. I keep them in containers. I did plant some in the ground originally, but them things spread. So I dug them up and put them in containers. I've been selling them off whenever I see them pop up because I'm just so scared that my dog's going to eat the berries. That's what I'm afraid of. So I keep them in containers. But yeah, I do have some and I do appreciate it. And look at all the quince seeds she sent me. Y'all don't know what quince is? She's going to explain it to us in a minute. And she also sent me some sugar baby watermelons. With a note on it that says, sugar baby watermelons, these were free to me, so free free from me to you. I hope I hope they are good. They look good. And we sure can take them because you know down here in Tennessee we love our sugar babies. Sugar baby watermelons. She sent me this note here. Uh, it says, uh, Hello, Prentice Odom. That's my name. I have started quint seeds from seed a few times and had great success. I soaked the seeds up for a few hours, then scratched them on sandpaper a little bit. Put them in a Ziploc bag with damp sand or put them in the refrigerator. I just put them in one of the veggie trays, then I wait. It takes a few months to sprout. At that time, they can be planted into containers. They are fast to start, but then at one to two feet, they slow down. I'm giving you enough seeds to make trees to sell in about a year. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's delicious fruit, only after cooking with a lot of sugar. Lots of information online. Mexican cultures eat these raw, very tart and sour. Middle Eastern cultures use the leaves and seeds for medical purposes that needs more research on my part mine too miss miller mine too but i do appreciate it very much from the bottom of my heart and i will be reaching back out to you so yeah you send me some of yours i'm gonna send you some of mine i got a bunch of fig cuttings that's rooting right now so yeah i'll reach out to you and these i didn't get from miss miller but these came yesterday also and i purchased these off of fig big and so you know what it is already. You know me. I love my figs. And look at the size of them cuttings. These are Ronde de Bardos. So, yeah, I got to hear up and get them rooted. Nice size cuttings. Nice size cuttings. You know, he had a big tree. I heard these do good in my area. So, you know me. You know, anything that grows good in my area, I'm trying to get. If I can got enough space to get it, I'm going to get it. Hey, you never know. It's trying times right now. Stuff of everything is going up. The stuff you grow is more more nutrition and more better for you. You get more nutrients out of it, and you don't stay as sick. But yeah, so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm going to go get, get this quint seedling in the ground before it starts raining. I appreciate y'all stopping by. Thank you again, Miss Miller. Uh, be going live on Thursday. So come by, check us out. Check us out. Let's get it off your chest Thursday. I don't really promote this too much, and I need to. It's 2024. We're trying to do bigger and better. Been on YouTube for a couple of years now, so got met a great community. So, yeah. I'm going to keep going. Y'all know me. Growing is my passion. Thank y'all for tuning in. Hold on.